welcome back to your point destination trucker today is monday morning and we are going to start school folks um i got it pretty much set up i got my coffee all ready this morning um just so everybody understands i'm up and ready at if you can see the time there 7 37 so i went for my coffee at seven o'clock this morning uh i got my coffee and we'll take a walk downstairs here right now folks and I'll show you what I got going on down here. Besides the mess that needs to be extremely cleaned up. Like, see, I got car parts there. Boxes here. Just junk. Um, some stuff. But uh, I'll look the kitty cat in here. Checking it out. But there you go, folks. You can see I got the screen set up. I got one of the laptops over here set up. The projector up there. All right, I got some crayons here. Uh, some stuff like that there Over here I got like uh, some printed off stuff basically um, Different things that they can do plus they can cut out stuff um, Kind of get them all educated, but basically this is what we're gonna be working on today is what's right here uh, You know you have your learning you explore your play your reviews um, and then down below your topics like you know numbers to a hundred stuff like that there uh, basically all the stuff that the, they would teach you in school I have to teach my son down here right um, but anyways with that said uh, looks like uh, we're gonna get started here well, in another hour I guess I, I told them school starts at 9 o'clock 9.45 we have recess they get to have a little snack um, they come back to, uh, after recess, which is recess is uh, 15 minutes. So at 10 o'clock, they come back to school and they do some more learning until 11.30. 11.30, they go for lunch. They come back at 12.15 uh, uh, and then they are here until 2.30. Uh, so if he acts up, where's he going, folks? Detention. Put that right here. Detention. And I know I'm going upstairs. Upstairs. Huh? Upstairs. Upstairs to detention. Yeah. Yeah. But I will act and not going upstairs. Yeah. And you know what I did for your time? I don't know how often. I don't know either. I don't know. Oh, I don't know either. What are we going to do? I don't do it. <laughs> okay. So. Anyways, with further ado, let's get into it. So folks, before we start school today with the kids, I just want to say to everybody out there, if you're suffering with this coronavirus, COVID-19, uh, we're deeply sorry for your, your uh, illness that you're dealing with, and we just want to throw out a little respect and say, you know, uh, anybody that is dealing with this, you know, uh, power to you, hopefully you get better, hopefully things work out, I mean, uh, when I first heard about this, I thought it was kind of, you know, like, oh uh, yeah, just a flu, and, you know, but then we're, we're seeing people dropping dead, dropping dead, dropping dead, dropping dead, and now it's become more clear to me that uh, it's not just a flu anymore, right? Like, yes, it's affecting people at certain, you know, certain ages, but uh, it's also affecting people with health issues, so, you know, um, in this uh, economy today, you know, uh, I always said it, and uh, I don't want to sound like a dick about it, but uh, I always said it, you know, like people constantly depend on the doctor, you know, they're, they're going and they're getting prescriptions constantly, and, you know, we need to stop, you know, doing that, because back in the early 60s, um, and before then, people didn't just go to the doctor all the time for medication, right? They kind of... <clears throat> Um, they kind of just they dealt with it with home remedy recipes or you know or what, whatever the case may be but you know we didn't have all that stuff back then and now it seems that uh, you know studies come out and they build all this stuff and they're feeding it to you and what's happening is your body is becoming uh, immune to that stuff so without it um, you know your body is getting sick so as soon as you put that into your body well it helps out but you know, when you get something like what we have going on today with COVID-19, it becomes no longer um, 
strong enough to, to treat the symptom because of the fact that you know you're pounding this stuff into your body because this is what your doctor tells you to do right so your body can't fight off this disease that's going on um, and I'm not a doctor folks so don't take my word for it but it's uh, I was always good at science I was always good at science and science has never lied to me and um, I don't need to go to school or have the government pay 10 years for me to study the facts that make sense right um, you know it's like if you smoke cigarettes right your lungs gonna get black that's common sense we can't teach that that's common sense so if you put prescriptions into your body to keep you from having illnesses and stuff then what's gonna happen is your body's gonna depend on that stuff right so you know, I was always, you know, like I got sick. It was like, no, I'm not going to the doctor. No, I'm not going to the doctor, you know. Uh, the only time I ever go to the doctor is when I get an ear infection. And I've only had two of them in the last 15 years. So, excuse me, I just had a drink of pop uh, to get ready for class this morning. But anyways, with that said, folks, if you're suffering from COVID-19, uh, my deep apologies go out to you. And without further ado, let's get into school. Okay, hey, so thank you for joining your dad today in class. Um, we're going to start with symbols. Okay, so you see the symbols here. You'll see we got a triangle, square, triangle, square, or whatever they want to call it, diamond shape or something. I don't know. They got it sideways to, to make it. So if we look at that, and uh, let me scroll this down for a sec. Okay. You can see there that we have more symbols, right? <laughs> we have more symbols down below. Uh, maybe. Okay, so what we got to do is looking at this is we see we got this, then we have this. I know what is it. Triangle. I know, I know it's on bottom. Right? I know it's square. On bottom. What goes after the square? Uh, what would be the next one? Hmm. Okay, so this here is um, a triangle. This is a square. No, it's not. Triangle. What is it? It's a rectangle. No, rectangle. <laughs> no, I know what it is. It's a square. I know what it is. A square has four corners. I know what it is. They have it sideways like that for some reason. I, know, I don't know. I know what's on um, bottom. I know what's on bottom. And a triangle. Triangle has three square, three corners. I know what's on bottom. Right? And an octagon has, is it eight corners, I believe? Yes. I know what's on bottom. So. A triangle. So we're looking at this. So this is a triangle, mm -hmm. right? This is a square. Mm -hmm. So it goes triangle, square, triangle, square. What? Rectangle. No. The purple one. The purple one? I know which one. I know which one is it. That's correct. It would be the purple one, which is a triangle. Why? Right? Why? So let's put the triangle in and see if we're correct. Correct. And then we'll hit next. And now the next one. Okay, so we have here, we have circle, we have square, we have circle, we have square, we have... Go ahead. Hmm. Sorry, circle. Circle, and then what will we have? Square. Correct. Alright folks, so we just did some uh, bracelets here, as you can see. My uh, youngest son, he did this here, one here. Um, uh, well, he didn't really do it. I ended up doing it for him. You can see where he started to color. I changed it up. But uh, with that said, uh, <laughs> we are going to go back into here. I got to sign my son back in. So that we get it back up here on the screen. And uh, we're going to do some more learning here now. Um, he's pretty excited. So... Anyways, let's get let's get some more learning done. Well, we got over there. We got the the small puppy, the white one. And then we got a big gray one, and we got a big gray one here. And then down here we have puppies. So which ones do you want? On the white one. The white one. You want to put that up here? Yeah. I don't so that see. so that there is correct. We got the white one up there, and it looks correct. So we'll move on to the next one. So you got one of eight to do. 
Okay, can you please pay attention? We'll get this done. Then we can move on. Um, all right, folks. So what's going on right now is he is doing a quick little test here. Um, basically, it's eight questions. Uh, and it's um, just a little small test, right? It'll test him on a couple things to see how he is doing, how he can... Uh, you know, do it on his own. Basically, I have it set up with the mouse there for him. Uh, the computer is over here. Projector is up there. Um, my chair when the two of them are down here. <laughs> no, folks, there's no beer in there. Uh, it won't even open. Hey, no, no beer in there, unfortunately, but uh, none in there either. <laughs> But uh, we'll get him done this test, and uh, we'll move on to some other things. But I think I bored you enough, folks. So with that said, if you like this video, don't forget, give it that thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, because hopefully I'm not doing school for the rest of my life. <laughs>